kind of felt and saw between um, Sandoval and Raquel. One of the other rumors is that Raquel stayed over at Sandoval and Ariana's house. And Ariana caught him at 4 a.m. basically coming out of her room. And he said, oh, you know, she wasn't feeling well. I was giving her water. I mean, had you ever heard that before that came out? What? <laughs> Are you just hearing it now? What? what? <laughs> I'm telling it? you right now, like I'm in my, I was, I've been in my own little bubble. I've been working on my own stuff. I've been working at Sir. You know, I did a couple. Of, I've heard the. I've heard some rumors. This one's new. Now I heard this one's new to me. Anyway, I heard that you know, like apparently they hooked up while Ariana slept upstairs. You know, I, I heard that. Like that's like you know that's that's something I heard. But him coming out of her room at four in the morning and getting caught by Ariana, and he said, "Oh, you know, she needed water." or yeah. She wasn't feeling well. Listen, Peter, just come behind the velvet rope and we'll <laughs> fill you in on all that's going on down the street. Uh, Peter's like, what? <laughs> what? Well, Peter, I live he here He wasn't feeling well, so I'm going to go give her uh, some water. You don't think that's fishy? I mean, like, Ariana, if I was in Ariana's shoes, I'd been like, wait, no, that doesn't sound right. That's like, uh -uh. no, 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 no. No way. Do you, because like you say, like you're shocked at Sandoval, like you guys have known each other forever. Like, do you want a friendship with him? Like, where do you, you know, do you want to repair this? Or are you just, yeah, you're shaking you your head. To some other person, like someone, like, it's just like, that's like, that's not trustworthy at all. You know, like I said, I thought I knew him. I guess I didn't. So you're good so, with no friendship. Yeah, I'm good. What did you used to like about Sandoval? Because, you you know, you do kind of, obviously, this is very personal for everybody mm -hmm. on the cast. What was it about Tom you liked? Oh, well, I, I liked the, I liked his, um, uh, his outgoing nature. That's one thing that I really appreciated about Tom. You know, he, he likes on, on some of the, on some of the seasons, he'd help me like, you know, oh, Peter, you should wear this, or this would be cool if you wore this, you know, stuff like that. You know, so I, I really respected that about it. That's what I really liked about him. And then, you know, we'd 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 uh we'd all go drinking at his place after work, after Sir, all the all a bunch of Sir people would go to to King's Road, right down the road and and you know, spend <laughs> literally like drink there till all hours in the morning. So I have some really fond memories of all that. But uh but yeah, no, I, I liked his uh I liked his expressive nature, you know. Very different from from me. I'm very plain. <laughs> That's what I appreciate about him. What did you, you think of Tom's? Oh, go ahead, no, David. You go ahead. Well, I, I was just going to ask you. You know what you thought about his statements. You know, you had many fun nights with him. Did you, the first statement he put out didn't mention Ariana. He got crucified. Then he did a second one. Did you think they were sincere? Have you? I know how, you, how do you like? What did he say about Ariana? Like, I has he even apologized to her yet? In the second um, one, he did. The first one, he got a lot of criticism because it just mentioned how he was going to work on himself, but it said nothing against her, you know, nothing towards her. And then the second one was all like, I'm deeply sorry. That should have been the first thought would have been, would have been her. You know what I mean? Not me, you know? Had I been, like, if, if you know, I, I wouldn't be in that position, but if I was in his shoes, it'd been like, the first thought is Ariana. That's the number one. After that, I'm going to work on myself, you know? Maybe I'm, I don't know, like whatever I'm going through at this point in time. It seems like there's just a lot of, you know, PR people involved and, you know, Raquel in one minute is the victim. A lot of, a lot of conflicting messages. Yeah. 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 Because there's a lot of different PR trying to, trying to uh, scrub the situation as they say. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I think that, yeah, I think that there's a lot of, there's a lot of PR, a lot of, a lot of people trying to, to, well, um, Try, uh, how do you say it? Trying to like, okay, how do we, how do we present this? Okay, this is let's put this out. No, no, didn't put this out. No, you know, and and once once you get too many cooks in the kitchen, as they say, the meal comes out convoluted. You know, it's like putting you know, oh, I'm gonna make a filet mignon. Well, let's put some uh, syrup on it. Well, that's not gonna work, but you know, it's already cooked and it's already out there, and the customers already eating it. It tastes disgusting. You know. That's how it seems to me. It's almost like we made this statement. Okay, well, that didn't work. We're still here a day later. Now we're going to make another statement. Right. You're like, these statements make no sense. And they're clearly not written by Tom or Raquel or anyone. It's just a bunch See, of the best. The best, thing is to, the best thing is to write your own statement 
Yes. You know, to write your own statement and then run it by your representation. And then they can change a little wording here and there. That way it's from the heart and it's from, and it's sincere, you know? Do you have, I mean, I know they, you know, Tom doesn't work there, but like, I mean, is it like have the pop, I mean, we all know how it works in West Hollywood, but like have the paparazzi swarmed upon Sir again, like the old days, it is, it's not like that now. No, it hasn't. The, no one's no one's swarmed on Sir except for uh, customers asking questions and seeking answers. Uh, they're loading up. I love it. Uh, what do you think of LVP on um, Watch What Happens Live? I mean, she basically said people cheat all the time and kind of well, give. I, I, I haven't. I, so I haven't seen it. So I don't know. Uh, uh, gotcha, I was gotcha. I was, uh, I was managing her restaurant last night. <laughs> you were like, at least I was working for you. I, I, yeah. Mm -hmm. Have have you guys had to have a meeting like you're the manager or Lisa being involved where you've had to say to staff, like, here's what's happened. This is how we're going to handle it. Don't answer um, the customers. Well, the staff, here's the thing. The, most of the, I'd say about 80% of the staff has been there for, for all, the entire decade that Vanderpump Rules has been on since 2011. And um, uh, 10 years, so right? Someone's playing music in my building. Oh, so, like it's not me. Yeah. Um, the staff has all been there since the beginning of this show. And so they, at this point, they know the drill. Right. You know. Why, you know, listen, it's one thing for us to be talking about this with you people to be in, sir, asking, but why do you think this story is so big? Like this made the New York Times, literally. It's on, it literally was in the New York Times. In it's page six, it's every other story now. I think that like out of the last hundred stories, this has been 99 of them. Why is this so big with all that's happened in Vanderpump Rules for 10 years? There has been a lot of scandal. And why is this, like you said, Randall, let's not even touch that because that's a whole nother thing. Why is this so big? I think it's because of the, uh, I think it is because directly because of the scandal, because the, the, it was a relationship that last, that was around for about eight, nine years living together. Like I said, common law marriage. I mean, once you get to, a, I don't know how many years it would be. I think it's seven, I think. Seven, yeah. So it is a common law marriage. Uh, that I think that's one of the big reasons why, you know what I mean? Because it's so devastating to, to the other person, you know, it's so devastating to Ariana that, uh, that, uh, people automatically put themselves in that in those shoes you know like oh how would I feel if that happened to me you know like I said I think I've been I, I've never cheated but I think I've been cheated on I have a sneaky suspicion but that's neither here nor there that was a few years that was years ago actually at this point you know yeah it sucks I mean yeah I've been on both sides like it yeah it's it, it, it's just it's shitty you should just tell the person but yeah. Alcohol comes into play and all kinds of other. Yeah, I'm going to like, you know, I'll take a couple of shots and then, you know, I've, I've broken up before I've been broken up with before I've been ghosted.